Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Big Films, the home of Action Pack, blockbuster filmmaking. This is John Fuentes, and I'm really excited to share with you a quick tutorial about blend modes in your video editing software. The blend mode is a setting in your video editing software that allows you to merge two different videos together. Instead of taking down the opacity of one clip, it blends the luminous values of your clips. So you'll see examples of that in just a few seconds. Stay tuned to the end of this tutorial because I'm gonna show you where the blend modes are in the other video editing softwares. There are a lot of different blend mode options available to you in your video editing software. They all give you different results and I encourage you to play with them. Now we could break them down into four categories. So what we want to do is come over here to our effects control panel and you see you have your blend mode right here. And there's a drop down menu where if you drop that down there's a lot of different options. Now in this first set of blend mode options it only affects the white pixels within your scene. The second set of blend mode affects the dark pixels of your scene. This third set affects the gray pixels within your scene. And this fourth set is a little bit more creative results by affecting the difference between the pixels within your shot. Now, to see how it works, the most common blend mode used when working with VFX is the screen blend mode option. What the screen blend mode option does, it gets rid of the dark pixels of your image and it only leaves the bright parts. The screen blend mode is extremely useful when removing black backgrounds from your video. Okay? So for example, in our light and lumen prism pack, we have light overlays that comes with a black background and you can easily remove the background by applying the screen blend mode to the layer, like in the shot where we showcase the portal effect from the dark magic pack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we do that right now. So what you wanna do is first, make sure your VFS clip is highlighted and you come over to your effects control panel and we in our blend mode options is set to normal. So you're seeing it in this normal black background file. And what you wanna do is drop this menu down and come down where you wanna affect only the black pixels of your shot, right? So you press screen and just like that, boom, it pops really nice, okay? But also remember guys, you can also use the blend modes with assets that don't have any background. So we often use them with effects like fire and energy and smoke, okay? This allows you to better blend the effects with the brightness of your shot and to make it look more neutral, more natural, or more organic to your scene. So for example, in this shot here is from the Magic Pack, right? We have our Magic Energy and Special K. He's right there in the streets of New York fighting off some evil entity coming down from the sky. Now it looks pretty cool just like that. And we wanna make sure we highlight our video clip. You see that it's set to normal, right? So what we wanna do is get rid of some of the dark um, pixels that are inside the layer itself. So you come here, come down to the second option of blend modes, press screen, and you can see it sort of lightens up a bit and it makes the magic energy look more organic to the scene of the shot right there. And finally guys, I also want to show you some creative ways you can use the blend modes in your project. So let's take the asset from the motion pack, right? You can change the blend mode from normal to screen to make the dark pixels transparent, but you can also change and play with the difference blend mode option to get a more artistic creative result that is usually really great for music videos. So let's try that right now, right? So make sure our clip is highlighted. You can see our blend mode option is set to normal. When we set it to screen, you can see now all the dark pixels disappear and this makes it look pretty dope. This is really jumping up the scene. But if let's say this is a music video and we're going for a different feel, a different vibe, you wanna make sure your clip is highlighted. And let's say we come down and press difference, right? And now what it's doing is affecting the differences between the pixels of the shot itself of your VFX. So as you scroll through it, it had now it gives it a little different look, a different vibe. So it's really up to you and the visual style that you're going for and the type of film or music video or documentary feature short film that you're doing, okay guys? Now that we got through this Premiere tutorial, I'm gonna quickly shift and show where you can find the blend modes and the other video editing softwares like PowerDirector, Final Cut, and DaVinci. So let's jump into that. For all those using Final Cut, this one's for you guys. I'm gonna show you where you can find your blend mode options in Final Cut, right? And in Final Cut, the cool thing is it's pretty straightforward because as you can look at it, it's all right in front of you here. You don't have to go through different menus or folders like in some other editing softwares. So what you wanna do is make sure your VFS clip is highlighted, just like I have here. And you can see the black pixels are here, right here. And I have my blend mode up here in my Fest Control panel. It is the very first option in Final Cut. As you can see, it's set to normal. When I hit that drop down menu, go to screen, hit screen, and you can see the black pixels go away here. So you got your VFX integrating with your scene nicely. So guys, that's how you find your blend modes in Final Cut is in your Fest Control panel. First option in the upper right hand corner. 
For all those using DaVinci Resolve, this one is for you. I want you to pay close attention to here because the wording in this one is a little bit different. So one, you want to make sure that you're inside your editing tab right here. Um, you're not over here, maybe in this tab here, because when you're kind of scrolling through, it's a little bit of a different thing where you're scrolling up here, but it's moving down here. So you want to make sure that you're in your editing um, tab here where you kind of scroll through and everything is great in your viewfinder. So as you can see here, I already drag and dropped the um, VFX file on top of my clip. And what I want to do is change the blend mode. So what you do that is make sure your clip is highlighted and you come right over here to your effects control panel. But check this out, guys. I've been talking about blend modes and it's been called blend modes, but in DaVinci Resolve, it's called composite mode. So that's the same thing as the blend modes in like in, in Power Director and Premiere and Final Cut. So in DaVinci, it's called composite mode and you see that it's set to normal and we have our black pixels here. So when I click that down, the, the screen option is way down at the bottom. It's kind of going in alphabetical order, guys. So you just want to come all the way down to screen, press for screen, and you can see here now the black pixels disappear. So in DaVinci, that, that's where that's how you find your blend modes, but it's called composite mode. So you don't want to get confused if you're hearing something like, hey, how do I change my blend mode in DaVinci? It's called composite mode. For all those using power directors, this one's for you. So as you can see here, we have our clip here, and it's the same clips that we have in Premiere. And what I want to show you is where you could find your blend modes options. So you want to make sure that you have your little hand here hovering over your VFX clip. You want to double click on the VFX clip, and you see that this effects control panel pops up here. So we, now we have our scene right there. What we want to do is kind of scroll down here, and you see your blend mode option here. You see it's already set to screen. So if I set it back to normal, our black pixels will come right back into the shot and cover it up so what we want to do is like so when you drag and drop your VFX into your timeline right underneath your video clip here you want to change your blend mode from normal to screen just like that and then you press ok so it can apply to it here in your viewfinder Blend modes are extremely useful when working with VFX assets. They can make your effects look more realistic, more organic to your scene. Or let's say on the opposite side, it, you can use a blend mode to make an artistic choice for a creative shot and make it look more unique. So check out our website to find out of our latest packs and don't be afraid to experiment with blend modes when you're using our effects. So I hope this quick tip tutorial is very helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to answer them. But always remember guys, you are what you write, you are what you shoot, and you are what you edit. So with that said, go out there and make big films.